and welcome to the channel. Today we are at Gibbs Key Marine to have a look at this quite spectacular and rather sporty, shall we say, 2018 built, I think it's 2019 registered, Stinger 9 metre rib. Now this is a pretty much a hardcore rib. We'll start at the front simply because I wanted to show you the hull. So there you go, pretty deep V. Lovely stainless steel anchor. This is a clip to hook it down onto your uh, trailer. And these guys, for the sake of it, are drains for the anchor locker, which we'll have a look at when we're on board. There's a roller if you want to put a line over the front of the bow. Bit nice big rubbing strip here that then doubles up along the side grab handles again these are entry points if you want to pump it back up let's go and start at the stern for the sake of it so this particular variant has got mercury 225s so effectively outboard driven vessel and again if we look at the back here you can see the deep V hull runs right the way to the back. Lovely stainless steel mounting plate for the outboards. Swim ladder here, so if you want to climb out of the sea, pretty straightforward, fold the swim ladder down, climb up, nice grab handle, and you're up on the aft deck. So in fact, let's do that while we're here. A couple of steps up, you can see there's mood lighting all the way around here. That's your deck shower, flagpole, fresh water and your petrol vent over the other side sorry petrol filler that hole there's for your ski pole as long as this is a boat you're probably likely to come on to ski behind and these rather lovely butterfly cleats so they pop up when you need them like so and they just push down when you don't need them this is your cockpit area nice array of seating teak folding table mini galley helm position but before we go there we are just going to have a quick look up top i can do that without falling off the side one-handed for starters lovely sturdy frame for this t-top and then you've got gps aerial and another aerial for something else i don't know what nav lights horn mini solar panel on the roof there and there would be space if you wanted to to put a radar up there Flexi teak or synthetic teak all the way around. We shall start at the back. As I say, there's a big array of seating here. If we get these cushions out of the way for a minute. There you go, cushions out of the way. This section lifts up, like so, only slightly, but we can take the cushion off a bit more room. And what you have down here are your battery boxes. So starters and domestic. Little chap at the back there is your bilge pump. And then you have all your electronic switches here for batteries, stereo trips and the like. Fuse box there. And right at the back there, you can see the inline fuel filters. Water pump system over there. But just, again, look at that, stainless steel. And all quite nicely lined. It's all GRP lined rather than left as rough fiberglass. We'll put that down. Put the cushions back. Keep it looking nice. Interestingly, these cushions are waterproof. They're made of the same material, umbrella style material, as the seats. Which are really nice orange. And again, you'll notice there's a reverse stitch here that matches the cushion. Table here folds out. You can have it either way you like, you can have it that way around or spin it around the other way. Nicely inlaid with the Compass logo. Big speakers either side, and there's a massive subwoofer right at the front. Look, just under the table in there. But let's go back here for a moment. So, this whole section here, which is made up of the helm seats and the galley and fridge slide backwards and forwards on these runners so you can 
If you want to, you could move this way all the way forward when you're not steering and give yourself more space for relaxing dining and water sports at the back. But where it is now, it's sort of a halfway house. Under here, we have a sink. And if you want to, there's some space there for a griddle or cooker or whatever you fancy. Underneath here is a decent size fridge. Drawers in there, drawer at the bottom. That folds down, and obviously when you're going along, just lock it in place, stop it bouncing around. Oh, better shut the fridge. So that moves forwards, takes you to the helm position. Two bolster seats. And again, really nice because these bolsters lift up and lock in, so you can put them all the way down. But the mechanism here actually gives you the ability to lock it in that position, like so, or where's the next one? In that position, like so, or obviously all the way back. For the passenger, there's a really nice grab handle here. And instrumentation wise, we have a Fusion Stereo, Garmin VHF radio, the usual array of car link switches as you expect. This device here is the engine control, so you can look at fuel burn, fuel flow, um, battery voltage from the output alternators, that sort of thing. And then over here we have a Garmin navigator and plotter. Throttle controls here steering wheel here so really nice position you can, you can see there but down here is a raised footrest ignition keys here a bit of additional storage under there but the whole point is you can effectively put your bum on the bolster wedge your feet up here flex your knees and imagine if you're bouncing along on this thing because i believe it does circa 50 knots flat out give or take so moving forward we have the quite a lot of deck space either side very very wide Bonsons on the side here and that takes us forward to this forward deck area so cushions obviously as you imagine this table drops down and infills so I'll drop in a picture in a minute of that deck lights which is quite nice there's a large storage locker under here all right let's lift that up quickly Go on gas struts again, which is really nice, fairly standard line, which is nice. Locker, drop that down. There's also, believe it or not, storage lockers under here. So, there you go, another locker in there. So, the locker in there, and again, even under the seats here. We've still got the synthetic teak. Another locker under this side as well. Lots of sunbathing, and there is an infill cushion for here. So when you've got the table drop down, the cushions are out of the way. There's another cavernous locker, and I genuinely do mean cavernous. So there you go. Massive locker in there, but what's also quite neat if I turn the camera around is there's a long section down in there so you can put water skis wake boards paddle boards you know it's a it's a big big space underneath there got these cushions back all of these cushions pop it down so they stay in place when you're going along right at the front here have an anchor locker so you've got an electric anchor Deep chain locker there, little switch for the anchor. And then as we looked at outside, there's a little bow roller just down there and a cleat on here. We turn around and stand up. Give you an indication of this massive whole area here we'll infill. You'll notice there's a little seat here. There's a technical phrase for that seat, but I can't remember what it's called, it might be a jockey seat. You can see the windscreen and the T-top. Now this particular boat i believe it's an option but has a zip-in canopy that drops in on both sides and the front and enables you to pretty much enclose that whole sort of cockpit lounging area but also which is quite nice on this vessel is under here we have a heads hidden away 
So you've got a pump action loo, a couple of charging points, which is also quite nice. Look, two opening port lights, and this can act as a dry lock. I'm just going to step inside actually, we've been in here. This can act as a dry locker as well, so you can put your wetsuits and bits and pieces in here. If you're brave enough to go and use the loo when you're going along, <laughs> that's what you get as a view. But it's just nice to have a heads on a river. A lot of the time you don't get that. Let's just drop that back down. So there you go, that is a Stinger 9 meter rib. So I hope you've enjoyed the tour. Do please subscribe. Thank you for watching and I look forward to seeing you next time around.